Wouldn't it be cool if we took the Nissan Altima and reimagined nearly everything in it? Introducing our most innovative Altima ever. Nissan, innovation that excites. A controversial statement by a rising star in the Republican Party grabbed headlines this week. Florida Senator Marco Rubio, who is a practicing Catholic, tried to walk the line between science and faith-based creationism when asked how old the planet is. Here's what he told GQ magazine. I'm not a scientist. I don't think I'm qualified to answer a question like that. At the end of the day, I think there are multiple theories out there on how the universe was created, and I think this is a country where people should have the opportunity to teach them all. I think parents should be able to teach their kids what their faith says, what science says. Whether the earth was created in seven days or seven actual Eras, I'm not sure we'll ever be able to answer that. It's one of the great mysteries. Famed television scientist Bill Nye joins me now from Los Angeles. Bill, good morning. So you, like other scientists, say that we know how old the Earth is and that the topic's not even up for debate. But every so often, a politician makes headlines either denying science or casting some doubt here. So tell us, as far as you know, how old is the Earth and how do you know it? Uh, the Earth's four and a half, four point five, four billion years old. So there are certain elements that are created, uh, that were created uh, in exploding stars, and especially the Big Bang. And we rely on those uh, elements for uh, our everyday life uh, in order to have the quality of life that we have, have the remarkable materials we have. But the idea is, certain elements change from one element to another and the, the verb is they transmute and the classic is our good friend uh, strontium becomes rubidium rubidium becomes strontium and the you can look at this ratio very the half-life of that reaction is uh, 48.8 billion years this is measured in laboratories sometimes the laboratories will observe something for 15 years to get it just exactly right so then you work backwards to the age of the rocks now the thing, let me just say about Mr. Uh, Rubio's comment, you know, you, you stop there about uh, uh, opposing theories, but he went on to claim that there's no connection between our scientific understanding of the age of the earth and the economy. And well, I let me, let me, let me very, interrupt very you there. strongly disagree with that. Let me just interrupt yeah. you there and read that quote, because th this was another part of his answer to GQ, saying, I think that's a dispute among theologians, and I think it has nothing to do with the gross domestic product or economic growth of the United States. I think the age of the universe has zero to do with how our economy is going to grow. So what do you make of this? I mean, you, you obviously don't agree um, that, that science uh, has nothing to do agree. with the economy and growth. So the reason we have uh, smartphones, the reason we have television, we're able to talk on the on opposite sides of the continent. The reason we, the classic example for me is smoke detectors. The reason we have these things is because we understand the reactions, the nuclear reactions that take place uh, in elements, in uh, pro protons and neutrons and so on. Without that deep understanding, we wouldn't have everything that you can touch and see in our environment. So the built environment. So this claim that has nothing to do with the economy is just, uh, for my, as far as I'm concerned, just, just wrong. I mean, now, uh, I'm, not, I'm not going after anybody's religion. If you, that's not it. Just the Earth is not six or ten thousand years old. That's not. And furthermore, we rely on this, on these discoveries, for uh, our everyday life, especially here in the developed world. And what's the danger? So my let me, claim. Let me ask you about the danger, though, in terms of what this teaches children. I mean, do you still believe that teaching children that the Earth is is anything but 4.5 billion years old is the same as teaching them that that it's flat? Well, the word same, it's a pretty good analogy uh, in that you can show, you can very easily demonstrate that the earth is not flat. With a little more diligence and a little more understanding, you can show that the earth cannot possibly be 10,000 years old. That's just wrong. So what you're asking a kid to do when you, you're asking that kid not to use his or her critical thinking skills, not to use... Uh, the ingenuity that made the United States what it is today. You're asking them to deny our ancestors who made these remarkable discoveries through diligence and careful scientific understanding. And it is in every way connected to the economy. So uh, it's, you were talking earlier about the branding problem that this political party has. This uh, is something that 
they might want to consider. Do you think they that, rely, that the age of the we earth, all rely on this technology? Do you think the age of the Say earth again? do you think the age of the earth and creationism should be a political issue or no? Well, here's my this is what I think started this whole thing <laughs> back in February, and I'm delighted that you're uh, taking time with me. Uh, uh, the, um, what makes it political is when you want to use tax dollars intended for science education to teach this uh, obviously wrong idea and non-scientific idea. And so that's where everybody gets... Uh, that's where it becomes political. And the, if you recall, the judge in Dover, Pennsylvania, called it breathtaking inanity. Now, the word inane is not one we use too often, but it means roughly silly. It, it was so right. silly, the idea is so preposterous that the guy <gasps> inhaled strongly. So, well, it uh, does. It I, does have a lot well, of it's, people. It's a deep concern. Well, it's a deep concern for a country that wants to be a yeah. world leader, wants to grow, wants no to have jobs, wants to have middle-class jobs. So, no so question thank you. about it. Thank you very much for weighing in. Appreciate that, Bill Nye.